Hi, we're going to make a duck call today um, at a Coco Bolo. I made a couple of a few weeks back uh, for the Ducks Unlimited banquet. I donated a couple calls for them, so I'm just going to make another one to show you how to do that. Again. All right, I just drilled a 5 8 inch hole down the center of it, and we're just going to go ahead and put it on the on the pin chuck here. Lock it in place. Bring the tail stock up to support that. Let's go ahead and use a roughing gouge. We'll just true it up. Once we get it trued up, I'm going to switch to a spindle gouge and for the detail. I'm going to leave it kind of a little bit thick right here because I'm going to put a couple of beads on it with the bead tool and see how that, how, see how that looks. going to use the, the smaller one. I think it's an eighth. And we're going to put a, a couple of beads in it. Slipped a little bit there. Now come back in with the your spindle and bring that down. There we go. Put a nice nice deep groove in back here so that the lanyard can, can sit on it. And go right in there. I'm just gonna round this round this over. Clean this this is a parting tool that I I'm gonna use a little bit like a skew. Down right in there. Go ahead and bring this 
down so those beads kind of stick out just a little bit. There we go, I think that looks kind of neat. I'm gonna bring that mouthpiece down just a little bit too. A little big. There we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sand it up. Clean up the mouthpiece just a little bit. The spindle gouge. going to go ahead and sand it up. I'm going to sand it up with wax because I'm uh, uh, going to uh, soak it in uh, uh, liquid beeswax to seal it up so it doesn't, not going to hurt it. I'm just going to, when I'm all done here, I will, I have a crock pot with uh, beeswax in it and I heat it up and then drop once it liquefies I drop the call in it and then bring it back over and polish it up and that way it's sealed on the inside too completely. So let's turn your lathe speed back down and go ahead and sand it out. And just uh, just finishing up with 600 here. You don't have to really worry about buffing it off because we're going to dip it back in the in the wax. But I'll just clean it up to show you. And uh, I do have a video online on on how to make one of the pin chucks. If you want to want to check that out too, um, they're not very hard to make. So. Um, there we go. And I'm using uh, Echo inserts Echo from Echo Calls. They're just great. Great. They come, this is a double read. They come, they're already pre-tuned, ready to go. Just put them in. That's it. I just put a couple of grooves in it. I think it gives a nice little, little touch. All right, there you go. It's out of Coco Bolo and then uh, they're Echo inserts. Um, they sound great. They're right out of the box. They're already pre-tuned. Um, just, I'm not going to blow it. I'm not a good duck caller, so I don't want to butcher their calls. But if you go online and look up Echo Calls, they have a website, and you can, uh, you can uh, listen to them, and they just have a great sound to them. So, thanks for watching.